Hey, it's Kyle, your favorite. And I'm going to show you how to make a really cool tutorial with 3D text and have the map on the back of it and we'll transition to that. Okay, so, Cinema 4D, open it. The screen means it's opening, and this screen means it's open for a 3D merriment. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, we're going to create a text line. So go hold this little snake looking thing, put in text, we'll say voltage. Okay, change the font to I'd like impact, so let's go with impact. Boom, we got this. Alright. You can change more on there, you can change the size and stuff, but not too big of a deal. Okay. Once we get that, we can go extrude NURBS by clicking on this thing and going to extrude. And we're gonna drop this text onto it and that puts it underneath it. And what do you know? It's a 3D text now, okay? So now I'm gonna go file, open, and I'm gonna bring a map into here. I'm just gonna go with nuke for now. You can do this with any map. I'm uploading a bunch. They're not all going to be on there today, but I'll try to get as many of them on there as possible on our server. Okay. First thing I forgot to do first, though, is we're going to rotate these text, and we're just going to hold Shift, and we're going to rotate it so it's negative 90. Or actually, to make this even easier, let's rotate it to 90, which would be 180 from where I did it, but 90 from where you start. Okay. So now I'm going to paste the map into here. I'm going to grab this scale tool and make it a lot smaller. Okay? So that it fits on the back of this map. Okay? So, bring it up. Like this. Alright, now we're going to start deleting stuff. I know that sounds kind of weird, but we're going to start getting stuff out of the way. Because some of this stuff looks really weird. Like these trees, they don't look good. Okay? Didn't mean to delete the ground. Delete the... Actually, I didn't mean to delete the ground. Okay. So delete this ground, delete this tree, stuff like that. Maybe delete that stuff out here. Make sure you don't delete your text. Though so if you accidentally highlight your text, just um, click on it over here. That unhighlights it, dehighlights it, whatever. Deselects it, there's the one I'm looking for. Okay. Start deleting a couple more things like this. Boom. Maybe delete this stuff and that little can there. Okay. That looks all right. Okay, so once we got it cleaned up a little bit, okay, we are going to make it even smaller than it was so that it totally fits on the back of this text, okay? So even smaller, like this size right there, okay? And I'm going to move it right here. Okay. Now we have our text on the or the map on the back of this text, okay? Sweet, right? Maybe drop it down so it's actually touching the text like this. Make sure it's not going through. Hit control R real quick. See what it looks like rendered. It's missing some materials, but that's okay with me. It's missing all of its materials. What? Anyway, I don't even care. Here we go. Render. Yeah, its materials are messed up. I'll figure that out later. I don't know. My computer hates me right now. Anyway, rotate it so we get a decent starting angle like this here. If this is where we want to start it. Alright, so we're going to go objects, scene, camera, and then we're going to go camera, scene, camera. I'm going to change these render, set render settings real quick. Let's go output, change to 1280 by 720 view all frames, save as an AVI movie big, name 000, path, I'll just put on the desktop for now, I'll call it 3D, awesome. Any aliasing, change that to best, boom, we have all these settings good. Okay, so time to start animating. Go to coordinates, hold down control, click on all these letters here, and then click on the R right there, and that'll highlight all of them. That makes this, it means it's ready to be animated. So I'm going to move forward a little bit. I'm going to zoom in a lot. I'm going to move like this. and just going to play with this uh, camera position until you get one you really like. Okay, something pretty cool and dynamic. Maybe move it this way a lot. Okay. Keyframe it. This button keyframes it. Okay. So, so far our camera is going to start out here. It's going to zoom into here. I'm going to make it come up above this text 
like this and look down a little bit keyframe I'm gonna move it forward look down move it forward look down move it forward and look down until it's pretty straight up and down like this okay I'm gonna try and put this yellow dot let's say there's a guy on yellow you can kinda see yellow barely so I'm gonna aim it right there at yellow okay so we're gonna have this camera come in it's gonna move up above the map and now I'm gonna have it zoom in on the map so just grab this thing and we can zoom in okay adjust it just a little bit let's say there's a guy jumping on yellow so we'll move the camera we can actually put 3D models in here, and usually I would, but something has been messed up with my uh, 3DS Max, which is what I would do for that. So I'm not even going to bother with it, okay? So keyframe here. We're going to play it. It's going to come up here. And then it's going to zoom in on this guy right there, okay? Maybe I want to rotate this camera a little bit and zoom in even more so it actually like hits the guy. But before it was going through the map, so I'm going to have to play with it a little bit. Zoom in even more. Yeah, it's way annoying right now. Okay. And boom. We can zoom in into wherever it's not being stupid. That'll work. Okay. If you want to zoom in, you can actually zoom in your camera some more. Alright, so that's actually all there is to it pretty much. I'm going to want to add a text material. So go new material. And let's just make it a nice black text so change this to black here if we want to add textures we can do that with this texture thing if we want to bump it fog it you know reflect it you can do all that kind of stuff transparencies look nice but I'm just gonna go with a black color it'll look fine alright so I'm gonna drop that black onto my extrude nerb that's gonna make my text black hit control R we have that we're gonna want to make the background a different color go so go object scene background go file new material make this pure white so go color change it to 100 percent brightness and for luminous turn that on and that makes it pure white so I'm gonna drop that on the background here hit control R we've got a black background with some cool looking text which we're gonna put a map on and zoom into so when you're done just go render, render picture view, or hit shift R and it'll render it for you. Alright, so that's my tutorial. Hope you guys liked it. Later.